Hello and welcome back. FanPub here. My name's Sean. This is Al, and we are doing more player profile videos. And today it's going to be my choice of player. And I'm picking actually two players because their ADPs are so close. It kind of creates an interesting controversy. And I want to see what Al would do with this. And it's a great one because when you examine this team, and they're a very high octane team, and we're going to be talking about the wide receiver two position for this team. When this player lands, and they generally will land, whoever you get right. You're looking, and you look at the statistical numbers for this team, they average 850, 800 to 950 or shade under 1,000. So they're often giving you 8 to 1,000 yards, 7 to 10 touchdowns regularly as a wide receiver too, often much higher up the board than they're currently going as ADP. So if you get the right guy, the problem is you've got to get the right one, you're laughing. We're talking Green Bay, are we? We are talking Green Bay, and we're All talking right. Geronimo Allison, the current fantasy darling on Marcus Valdez scantling Now this is... An interesting one because opinion is completely divided, and that's why I've chosen it for this video. So out of those two, we have two to discuss. Our ADPs are separated by fractions. I mean, at the moment, I think they're about seven apart. Um, I'm really curious at your thoughts on this. I know mine. Well, we're currently in July, um, yeah. and I was looking, well, I was looking on Twitter the other day, and uh, the news broke out about Green Bay's first practice. Yeah. And um, I mean, Sent Brown, Jamon Moore. Uh, Kermero, they were all practicing with a second, so it's definitely going to, most likely going to be Geronimo Allison, or it's going to be Valdez Scantling. Yeah, uh, and they're, whoever they're gets the ones that, playing with the first. If you get this, because I mean, this is one of these great questions, because it the ADP isn't so high that the risk is massive, and if you get the wrong guy, you're left with nothing. It's low enough down that if you get it wrong, it hasn't cost you a draft board, but if you get it right, it's certainly helped. Well, my interpretation of it is that. From what I've read and and, and, and understood is that uh, Valdez Scantling is going to play in the slot, which is like Randall Cobb's role. Yeah, yeah. So it means Allison's going to play on on the opposite to uh, Devontae Adams. He has the X and Y receivers. But the slot in Green Bay is one of the most important positions. Well, that's where Valdez Scantling is going yeah. to play from everything. I've well, heard. here's what I think. Right, now, I agree with that. That makes perfect sense. That's what they're saying. Now, here's what I think is the missing piece. Okay, and I'm giving this away for free because we're like that here. We like to help our fellow everything drafters free, out here. Do you know who Marcus Valdez Scantling has been practicing with? Ex NFL wide receiver. Supreme, who he's been practicing with. Well, he was uh, last year. It was Randy Moss he was training with. Still him, doing right? it this year. Yeah, I thought. I thought. I, yeah. I thought you. In, you we, did. Me and you actually drafted a team together. Yeah. And I actually talked you into Valdez Scantlin on that and, very fact. And I've seen more of that this year. And I'm now convinced that Marcus Valdez Scantlin will end up with the will get the number two numbers. So I, I'm more comfortable over him than Jordan Allison. Anyway, Allison's working his way back from quite a serious injury. So. Um, I'm very happy to take Valdez and his ADP price. I don't want to pay more for it. I don't want to pay less for it. I'm happy with I'm it. I'm happy taking either of them where they are. Yeah, I mean, you, you've no problem if you get it wrong, but what a chance! Well, I think they both right. get catches. Yeah, I mean that's a fair that's a fair call. Um, I just I'm a bit greedy, so I like to try and find a guy that could have a bit more. So I think I'd like to get Valdez. I think PPR I'd probably but favour a Valdez. Lot of, a lot of fantasy people enthusiasts like Jordan Allison over Valdez Scantling, which I find quite interesting. Well. You know, before he got injured, he, he did look like the number two there. He did, yeah. So he, he's got that trust with Rodgers. Uh, well, this can't can emerge last year. He had yeah. a better, better rookie season than Devontae Adams, actually. Yes. Which, you know, surprising to say. Whether he'll even right. prove on yeah. the same amount is anybody's guess. But if anybody can bring the best out of You know, I'm a big fan Rogers. of Mal yeah. Valdez Cantlin. I draft. I yeah. drafted him everywhere. Last I like year. him. I, I really, him on every one really, of my teams. I really, really do. Every one I, of my I really teams. genuinely like him. And I think the ADP for both these guys, that's why it's so close. And you are right, probably both have really great value. But if you get the right one, it's wide receiver two numbers. And you could, that alone is fantastic value. And I'd, like I said, be happy with either, I think, because I think they're both. They both return their value. And, and let's be honest, there'll be a lot of people out there who quite happily draft John Allison over Valdez Scantlin or Valdez Well, he's Scantlin higher in the ADP. Yeah, and I get understand the reasons why people are doing that, but I just think Valdez Scantlin probably actually will end up being more valuable to you in the long run. And that's why I've highlighted this interesting one for you today. Hopefully he's a bit better than Randall Cobb in the slot then. Well, Randall Cobb was great while he was at his prime, supreme point, but once he went out of that, there was a few years of what I call very mediocre stuff that was clearly not wide receiver two numbers. Do you know what he said? Actually, yeah. Randall Cobb, he said, look, people have ripped me off. Yeah. Like, you know, he said, watch me this year because I'm going to prove every single person wrong. I mean, is that just a guy that's really, 
you think he he could really step up, or do you think that's just a guy? I think the problem is you were playing with Aaron Rodgers, and he, you didn't step up then. And if you can't step up, even when Adams is out or other players are out, I'm sorry, Randall. Um, but he was injured though, wasn't he? Is yeah. that part of the issue? It's called on the cob. No, he's rubbish. Um, no, the... I'm not touching this guy. Um, no, you've had your chances. You were them out. You know, once bitten, twice shy. You had enough chances. He's gone. See ya. He hasn't had a good year for painful, a while. Has he? Painful player to watch. Um, oh, he's another sh- another painful player for not, sure. Not a player I'm interested in drafting. He won't come onto any of my draft boards. I wouldn't even mention his name. And as I say all the time, if I'm building a draft board, in all seriousness, I want to put players. There's the Keenan Allen. There's lots of players I want to draft. Alshon Jeffrey. Yeah, he's done. And now Randall Cobb. Yeah, absolutely rubbish. There's no way they're coming on my teams. You never. You can't force them to me. You can leave them as late as you like. They're not going on. I reckon if we all left them long enough, you'd have to pick one of them. I'm not taking them. They're still not going. You could leave them till the 15th round in a live league and hope... You wouldn't take Keenan Allen. Still, Well, Keenan Allen. But Alshon Jeffrey. No, I'm not touching these albatrosses. Randall Cobb? No, I'm not going anywhere. Let other people take them. Let them take them. I've got other players I prefer around them. I just, you know, I feel more comfortable. My teams so look you nicer. would take, even in standard, you'd take Valdis Cantlin ahead of... Geronimo, yeah, I like him for this year. But he's going at the perfect AVP. I don't have to reach for it. I don't have to... Yeah, it's not a big price, is it? Don't have to pay a big price. And and at that point, there are a few players you could debate. He's one I like. So if he's one I like, I'd take him if he's there. And there's none of the ones that I like other than him. If Aldo Scanton is gone, and would you take a chance on Allison? I would, yeah. Interesting, because I think you. It's a sh- if I've got a team that requires a wide receiver that could break out, because I've got more running backs, say, and I think, well, I, I've definitely got a need at wide receiver. Could he? He could. So why not take a punt? They're, they're no, so I close. agree. There's no harm because when, when you got it's Green like Rogers, Bay. It's Green Bay. So, you know, worst case scenario, he gives me big boom ability where, a bit like Kirk Cousins last year, where some games you get very, very... Sorry, not Kirk Cousins, Christian, Christian Kirk. Where you get some games where you've got very little points, but some games where you get 13, 15. I, I, I don't mind that in standard. That's great because those you weren't expecting it. Not from where you well, dropped There you it. go. So you're... You're about this camping. I like Slightly it. Over Toronto, maybe you like both. Yeah, I like and both. I mean, I'm at this say. ADP, they're great players to think about. They re- they should be on your board to think yeah. about. I mean, you, you can't forget how good Rogers is. I mean, if he gets injured again, obviously it affects everyone. But and I'm not saying, and I'm definitely not saying about either of them. If ad- if anything happened to Devontae Adams, these guys, the price might go up, but not necessarily that the, they're that great. And how high would you take Adams? Oh, Adams has to be considered easily inside the top ten. He has to be considered up there. He's, uh, uh, he's that good. Ten, though, or six? I, I think with the way draft boards are going, you might have to consider some of these wide receivers a little bit earlier now. The, okay. the, the, the day well, with, the, with the news with the breaking. Gordon he could be coming to draft day and having to make a big decision. Which player are you going to take? Who do you trust? You've got to be ready for that, haven't you? You've got to be ready to trust players. I mean, for me, it comes down to a very simple thing. I know what I want. If those players aren't there... It's next man up. And if that player is, I'll take him. And if that means it's a wide receiver, like we just did in one of our mock drafts, it ended up in three wide receivers. That's the way it goes. There's nothing wrong with that. Who would you take out of Mixon and Adams? I'm still taking Adams ahead of Mixon, sorry. I don't, I'm not a big fan. Beckham and Mixon? Oh, God, I don't want any of those guys, really, frankly. I don't want Mixon. I don't like the offence. really upsets me. I'm not really comfortable with them. I don't like... They really are... Oh, Cincinnati. Oh, God, that's an ugly-looking team for this year. They never go the red rifle. Brilliant. What, the Red Rifle? Yeah, yeah, he yeah, should be sure. Never shot. let anybody down yeah. in the playoffs. No, 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 definitely not. He's a very steady, just about 15 fantasy points a week, which is great if you want mediocre. He's great. No upside. No but lift. He's a, he's a mediocre prize. He's not even mediocre. He's you can get him in the last round of the draft, let's be yeah, honest. I probably a... could pick him up on waivers if I really want to. He might be left that late. I could probably pick him up on him waivers. Him or Fitzmagic. I'd take Fitzmagic over the Red Rifle. Because the occasionally Fitzmagic does amazing things, whereas the Rifle doesn't. There you go. Well, there you go. We've. Uh, do you agree, or are you, or are you backing Allison? Well, who do you think? Uh, do you do you agree? Both have got great value for this well, year. Maybe, or maybe Sam Brown. I mean, it's maybe normally the do. number two has the the best chance of a really nice campaign, and that's why this is a really good one because one of them is likely to come out head and shoulders above the other. And if it is Jordan Allison, good luck. But you haven't paid a high price for it. And if it is Marcus Valdez, and the same reasons apply. What? What did Allison have though? Because he had quite a good year, didn't he? And just having a look now, well, quite, uh, quite a decent he, year. He did. I mean, you, if what, he, what sort of did he return on that year? Do you remember? Off the top of my head, no, I wasn't. I didn't have him as any other any players on my team at that point because he was new to the league. So, so. wide receiver forty four. Yeah, I mean, you have to go back to um, yeah. you have to go back to the campaign where he lasted, and you're talking. Where are we? Some little look. And so, what was his best numbers? 
too. It's not great. No, is it? it isn't. That, that's not as. That's worse than I remember it. Yeah, it, people look back and roast him. Fifteen classes. games, two hundred and fifty-three yards. Is that right? Yeah, it doesn't seem right. But what people are assuming is that he is going to get the number two job. You see what I mean? And he got no touchdowns that year. No, yeah. if if you get the number two job, it's worth eight hundred to a thousand yards. Do you just have a few big games maybe when yeah. Jordy Nelson went yeah, down? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But the thing with this is, and this is the key, is whoever gets that job. That's why I don't think both get it. One or the other gets it. At that ADP price, great price to pay. You've got yourself a wide receiver too for the whole season. But it could be either. That's it, it could be either. One's and wide receiver. You're not getting both. And I'll tell you why you're not getting both. Well, because they're going straight. They're going in the same round. Unless you've got back-to-back picks. Unless you've got back-to-back picks. But Which, then that means you're wasting both those picks on this. And if you well, want if to... you think one's going to really... Well, I mean, you you know, we're talking... If we're talking small leagues, sure, you can take... You've got that extravagance you can See, afford Valdez to do. Valdez uh, yeah. 73 targets last year yeah. for a rookie. Yeah. Who, he was the third wide receiver they took on 581 yards, two touchdowns. Not bad, That's why I think the elevation is there. So I think the improvement is that you could see the touchdown numbers and yards go up three or 400 yards, and you can see the touchdowns creeping up to six to eight. That makes him more And he too. averages 14 and a half yards per carry. Which I like. As a, run- a running which back. Which I like. What so is it? No, it's not. That's why I like him. But it's 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 you've got to pick your poison here. They're both one of them is. Yeah, going you to be wouldn't you anyone off any. And I'm not picking you. both because that's ridiculous. I don't have that luxury to give in a what sixteen man. Well, they're guaranteed I'm, to get a good player there, then. Well, yeah, and I've thrown away one pick in doing it. I'd rather be greedy. I want to well, try and get two. Might be alright. Well, if Adams goes down, then they might both might be okay. Well, there you go. Maybe, they might be. Then both. Be, maybe, then you'll you'll be maybe you're looking at you. Okay, maybe you got a point. Maybe you pick both. Maybe. Have I taught you into picking both? No, I still take one, and then I'll take another player. Hopefully, a running back there or something, something I like. Okay. What do you think? So let us know. And uh, do you like who do you in? like? Yeah, who do you like? Do you like Jordan Mavis and do you like Valdez Scantling? And why? Or Which one else? Cameron you know, Rowe, what, is there something we're missing? Maybe there's somebody else at Green Bay that will slide through, and that we haven't talked about. Well, he's probably there. So, so I mean, Jamon Moore. He's been some, working out with. There's some, some definitely some interest there. So let's find out what happens. And it looks like Jamon Moore is coming as well. Yeah, yeah he, he says, "Don't forget about me." Yeah. And uh, how much you ever hate Randall Cobb? Well, just as a as a sign up. And thanks very much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed Especially it. Especially if you're Randall Cobb. Thanks for watching and yeah. please subscribe. <laughs> I still believe in you, Randall.